Welcome to the Mountain Morning Show. We are still covering our slam dance films, and the next one we're looking at is called Roll With Me. This is such an inspiring story. I have the subject, Gabriel Cordell, here, and the director, Lisa France. How are you guys? Good. Great. Thanks Good for having us. I am so, okay, just watching the trailer, first of all, brought tears to my eyes, and it made me want to share the story, and I can't even imagine what it's like for you two to want to share the story. It's been a long road. <laughs> I, literally, literally, literally and figuratively. <laughs> Tell me what exactly were you doing in a wheelchair on the highway? Trying to get across America. <laughs> um, you know, I, uh, I wanted to do something extraordinary in my life and it uh, took me 20 years to figure it out. And uh, just one day I was doing research and I thought, hey, why not roll across America? And uh, one thing led to another. I met this young lady, and we're off to the races. I love that he called me young lady. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm getting smart. Right. Yes, he, he knows how I it works. Know. Yeah. He knows. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's interesting. It's not, you know, it, when I met Gabe, and, you know, I'd seen no one had ever done this before. No one had ever pushed a standard chair across America. People had taken motorized chairs and modified chairs, and I'm a big uh, pioneer freak. I love watching when people have done something that are going to do something no one's ever done before like right. you know Jesse Owen, Sally Ride, like all these Roger Bannister, all these people that have done something that no one's ever done before and um, so I looked it up and I was like I gotta meet this guy so when I met him I just thought wow he's crazy <laughs> I, <laughs> but I'm sure you heard that a lot yeah everyone <laughs> thought I was nuts he was nuts and to take no, this chair and you know we don't really ever talk about this in the film uh, but he didn't wear, we, neither one of us wore a helmet. I, I rode my bicycle with him and mm -hmm. shot most of the film from my bicycle. And um, <laughs> we didn't have helmets, we didn't have seatbelt, he didn't have any padding, we had nothing. And, and I have a stunt background, so this is officially the largest stunt that we've ever coordinated. Uh. <laughs> so you essentially rode across the country as well, I on didn't a bike. I the whole way. Another mm -hmm. one of our team, uh, Derek Gibbs, and uh, he, he rode a good, a good portion too. I did about 1,800, 1,900 miles, and then he did the rest. Thank wow. God he came and joined us. Okay. He met us on the road. It was awesome. On the I-10 in New Mexico. <laughs> he was riding his bike to Tennessee, mm -hmm. and we crossed paths, and... We just let him say, come with us. Come with us, and he just <laughs> he stayed had, with us. Well, he had to go somewhere for a little bit, and then he a came couple, back, right. but, but not for very long. And then, uh, you know, we just had this crazy ragtag group of people. And yeah. I think right now, when we live in a world and a society that feels very divided, our film is something that unites people mm -hmm. because we do have this wild array of personalities and people that really right. have nothing, nothing in common. We call ourselves the bad news bears of <laughs> everything. Of everything. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, we couldn't. We had a. We had, well, Gabe's Palestinian, but he's Catholic, and he brought his nephew, who was also Palestinian. Yeah. So basically, I mean, and they were. The movie also deals with recovery. So mm -hmm. three of the people on the film are recovering from drug addiction. Um, we've got a guy with PTSD who's a Marine vet. We had a guy with Asperger's. Mm -hmm. We have the the lesbian. You know, we just ticked every box, really. Pretty so much. We, <laughs> we checked every box. <laughs> what do you What do you What do you want to put in? Like we got everything. Yeah. So Gabriel, Gabriel or Gabe? Gabriel. Gabriel, sure. either one. Gabe, uh, Gabriel. Tell me, how did you even come up with the idea of crossing the country? What is 99 days, right? Technically, it's a, it was 100 days, but from the day we left our send off from Burbank, it was 99 days. Yeah. From that point. Yeah. Interesting. And this is how long ago was your injury? Uh, 1992, October 17, and 1992. So you said it took you 20 years to, to have figure this out idea. my purpose, why I was put in a wheelchair, and what am I, what am I supposed to do with it? Mm -hmm. it? Took me 20 years to figure it out. And uh, long story short, I was trying to create a T-shirt, do a guerrilla campaign. How am I gonna without money? Um, this guy called me and said to me, "I have a new wheelchair." Can I pick your brain designing it? So two years later, he called me and says, I got the prototype. And I started thinking, what if I rolled his wheelchair across California? And then I was like, wait a minute. What if I rolled it across America? Has anyone ever done that? Mm -hmm. And I did research. A couple of people did, like, like Lisa said, but with modified chairs. And I was like, all right, that, that's what will, I will stand at. It'll be a regular chair. Um, I'm 42 years old, a recovering addict, and, um, and that's how it came about. He said, no, it costs too much for me to do it, so I dropped that idea, but rolling across stuck. 
<laughs> wow. Stuck. It was crazy. Like, literally, and I mean, I don't, I tried the chair myself because I wanted to just see what it would feel like. To push. Yeah, just to go even a little bit. And mm -hmm. uh, it's in the film for just a brief second. Right. It, <laughs> I almost killed myself. <laughs> I mean, to, to go, because this chair is not modified. Right. And it has no weights or balances or It's not an off-roader? Wheel. No. no. And, <laughs> I don't know. But and these he, are all floaters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and he did <laughs> 70 thousand feet of elevation, 3,100 miles. That, just to put that in front of you, that's Everest two times, just to put that in front of you as a possible thing to do with your arms is bananas, right? It really that's is. It's just right. crazy. Who would ever even think to do that? And if you got in this chair and you just tried to go up one little hill, you would almost fall over. Mm -hmm. and, and because Gabe's a paraplegic from here down, he actually can't, his balance is no I mean, balance. He has no balance. No balance. No core. Uh, no core. Because I'm, I'm paralyzed from here down. Got it. So from here down, it's just. So it's a all miracle. All arms, all shoulders. All arms, all shoulders. And just to put it in perspective, yeah. uh, we did 3,100 miles over 100 days, which averaged uh, out 30 mi 31 miles per day, 118 marathons in 100 days. Shut up. Sorry I guys, I'm, my mind is blown. What an inspiration. I can't believe that you guys got this all on film and what a good collaboration and you guys get to share it with us at Slam Dance. Where is it going to be airing? Today at 4 o'clock. Today's Monday. Yes. <laughs> Today is Monday. Today's Monday. Monday. Today is Monday at 4 o'clock at the Treasure Mountain Inn in the ballroom and then on Wednesday, same place, Treasure Mountain Inn ballroom at 445. And if people want to know more, they can go to our website, rollwithmethemovie.com and all the information about screenings, the film, press, everything that we're doing it's it's all on there mm. wow lisa gabe thank you so much for joining us this thank morning thank you so, so much I, I feel honored just to meet you guys oh thank, oh, you, thank for you for us. having us yeah, yeah we're really excited to be yes, here all right absolutely. guys we'll head over to the movie today at four o'clock at treasure mountain inn we have a lot more coming up on the mountain morning show right after this